I am sorry. The creatures found us, and I was powerless to stop them taking Eric away. Please, do not be so hard on yourself, Father. When we heard that you were outside the gates when the monsters attacked, we feared the worst. Curse those sparkling scoundrels! They just picked them up and carried them off like so much plunder. But then why would they take Eric? He had no valuables in his possession, and he was not afflicted by the fever. And yet, they headed straight for him. It is almost as if they knew exactly who he was. <gasps> Wait a moment. The way they spoke, the ship they sailed in, could they... You know, I had the very same thought. Yes. I thought maybe those things had usurped the villains, but it seems they are them. But how? Hmm. Those gold-hungry horrors. They may look different, but we know them. We know them very well indeed. The way they moved, acted, talked. The fact that they knew who Eric was. There is no mistaking it. They were Vikings. They used to have a hideout near here, in a little cave just around the headland. Especially well to back this one. The boss has been after him for a long time. <laughs> hey! What the heck are you doing here? Wait, I know you. You're that rotten luminary. You're dead right, Chief. I'll run up to the Gilded Hall and let the boss know he's here. <laughs> Seems you're quite the celebrity, darling. I can't say I'm not jealous. This is no time for jokes, Silvando. <laughs> you think you're going to plunder our plunder? Just try it. We'll beat you blacker and bluer than the Lord of Shadows did. Chief, just imagine the reward you'd get if you took him the luminary's head on a platter. Hey, that's not a bad idea.
well that ends well. My strength grows ever greater. There's life in the old dog yet. Fabulous, darling. Sorry to leave you stewing in there, laddie. They didn't hurt you, did they? Well, you're safe now. Let's head back to Sniffelheim. Aye. Something is still not right. Eric, what did those fiends do to you? I was... here. And they were... Yeah. So... she must be... I've... Gotta go. <sighs> what was all that about, hmm? Come on, darling. We'd better get after him. the matter, Runt? Tired? You soon will be. <sighs> uh, <coughs> you got a problem, boy? We've been looking after your brats for ten long years, ever since we found you freezing in that snowfield. You owe us your lives. So how about you start showing us some respect? Y yes, Chief. Again? You know what your problem is, dear brother? You need to learn to grovel more convincingly. Huh? <laughs> hey, Mia. I know how you feel, though. I hate their big fat guts as much as you do. <gasps> Shh! Oh. Oh, don't be such a scaredy cat. Just hurry up and finish your work so we can go home. Woo! 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 <laughs> the only reason the Chief's working me so hard today is because you got caught with your hand in his coin purse. You could at least help. <laughs> Make me. Uh -oh. <sighs> 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 me and my big mouth. Yeah. Thanks for the help, Mia. Oh, stop moaning, will you? <sighs> oh, not that again. Still, I guess it's good to have a dream. One of these days, we're gonna get our hands on a whole pile of treasure. 
and then we can wave this lousy place goodbye. <laughs> Forget a pile. I'm not gonna stop till I've got myself a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> First things first, we gotta find something to eat. Huh. If we had wings, we could fly away from here. Uh, oh. What are you, five? You won't be flying anywhere on an empty stomach. Know what I think when I look at that thing? Dinner. <laughs> <laughs> something I picked up on today's raid. No birthday's complete without a present, right? Happy birthday, sis. Huh? Is this the best you can do? A rusty old necklace? Honestly, Eric, you need to try harder. What I really wanted was the red orb of Heliodor. Word is, it's a ruby the size of my head. Huh. Ugh. Well, word is, that necklace has special powers. They say that whoever wears it will find gold at their fingertips wherever they go. It's probably just talk, but it seemed about right for a little money grubber like you. I guess you'll just have to put it on and find out if... <gasps> what the... Where did you get that from? I don't know. It was a copper coin a minute ago. But as soon as I touched it, it... again, huh? <laughs> What's the matter, Eric? Jealous of my treasures? Let me see now. Um... Ah, perfect! Huh? Wait. You didn't. Did you? Mia, this isn't right. Yeah, I suppose it is a little small. I forget how greedy you are. Seriously, Mia, it's not funny. This has to stop. Hey, there's no need to shout. 
And anyway, you're the one that gave me this thing. Okay, I get it. I guess I have been getting a little carried away. Just stop looking at me like that, will you? I'm sorry I lost my cool, okay? It's just... No, no, it's fine. What's wrong? The necklace! It won't come off! Come on, Mia, stop fooling around! <laughs> I'm serious! I can't get it off! <gasps> what? What's happening now? I didn't do anything, I swear! <gasps> Don't move! It was all my fault. I asked around about the necklace on my travels and finally found out what it was. I'd given my sister a cursed relic. I wanted to forget who I was and what I'd done. That's when I met him. The guy who called himself the Seer. He told me to go after the orb, that if I did, I'd meet the luminary somewhere deep underground, and that if I helped him, I'd finally be forgiven. At first, I didn't believe a word of it. But sure enough, I went after the orb, I wound up underground, and... I met you. <gasps> Your memory, laddie. It's back. It is. Thanks to you guys. <laughs> Who knows if I'll ever find the forgiveness the seer promised me. You saw it, right? The statue my sister turned into was right here. If this Gildigger guy is collecting all the gold he can get his hands on, maybe he took her too. I heard those golden goons saying he's holed up in a castle north of here. Then it looks like we're all headed the same way. Hmm. Thanks again, you guys. It's good to be back. Hmm.
and stay down. Ho-ho! I'm fitter than ever! The great Silvanda grows even greater. is ours.
Mia? Call me that again and you'll regret it. I haven't been Mia for a long time. The name's Gildiga. Wait, you're... Yes, well done. I'm the big baddie. It was all me. Gold fever, stealing all the statues. Me, me, me. <gasps> What's the matter, dear brother? Aren't you happy to see your little sister doing so well for herself? Anyway, what are you doing out of your cage? <laughs> <sighs> you have every right to hate me, Mia. I hate myself for what I did to you. But the Vikings? The fever? Why would you do all this? Oh, questions, questions. Always with the questions. It all began when the World Tree fell from the sky, and the Lord of Shadows went to visit a certain lucky girl. do to you? Monster? <laughs> He's not the one who left his sister to rot all alone in a cave. Thanks to that monster, I'm here today. Thanks to him, I have all the gold, all the power I ever wanted. And more. And for my next trick, I'm going to turn everyone in the world into golden soldiers, just like those stupid Vikings, and work them all to the bone. Oh, so you really did turn the chief and his men into your slaves. What's happened to you? <laughs> you really think you deserve to know? After all you've done? <laughs> I thought about you every day for the last five years. The thought of saving you was the only thing that kept me going. It's all my fault. All of this. Which means I have to finish this. I have to take you down. Now you decide to play the hero? You're too late. Why can't you all just leave me alone? Yeah! Yeah! 
Diligence is its own reward. Things lost control of our power. If we can't stop her, gold fever's gonna spread like wildfire. I can't let that happen. This is all my fault. I'm sorry, Mia. I have to end this. <laughs> Do it. She's my kid sister. I have to try and save her.
Nice work, Eric. You just lost us a fortune. <laughs> Your sister was a vessel for a power beyond human understanding. But do not fear, my child. Her life is not in danger. Hmm. I owe you. Mia owes you. Here. You should have this. The seer told me that if I helped the luminary, I'd find forgiveness. Guess he knew what he was talking about, huh? <laughs> We'd better make a move. Mia's safe here for now. Which is good, because I've got things to be getting on with. Let's hit the road, partner. <laughs> <laughs> 